This is to uh, update you on my progress on my high voltage generator. I've made several changes to it and uh, I finally have one I really like. So let me show you some of the things I've done. Uh, I've already taken it apart. First thing I did was change out this rotor. Uh, the first one I had had eight segments. This one has 12. Uh, then I uh, went ahead Mounted the battery inside, uh, put a switch on the back. That way, keep that all nice, nice and tidy. Now, you'll notice on this top plate, uh, boy, those collector pads look funny. But uh, I tried several, several configurations, and this is the one that worked out best for me. Um, on the reverse side of this, are my brushes and you notice uh, this orange wire that's my neutralizer and uh, the two brushes on the end of it and of course the two brown ones are my collector brushes and they come through here and here uh, my neutralizer brushes are here and here um, you'll notice those, those brushes look just a little bit different I found a, uh, a way I like to put them together. Uh, take a piece of wire, stranded copper, and uh, twist twist this end uh, with carbon fiber in it, and uh, cut off the slack, and then uh, take a bead and just push the bead over, and uh, you can trim that brush to the size you want it, and that's that's working out real well for me. So let me put this together and. Uh, We'll watch it run. Okay, I've got it all back together. And uh, one thing I failed to mention, probably the most important thing, uh, when when working with these, clean clean everything up when you're finished. Get all your handprints and and body oils off because it it definitely makes a difference in in how these perform. So the other day when I showed this, uh, it was struggling. It, it was running the Franklin's bells, but it was struggling. So here we're going to turn it on and let's see how it does. That's not struggling. That's running very well. Okay, I'm going to shut that off. And this is where I really wanted to get to. Okay, now we're going to turn this on and let's see if it runs. And there it goes. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, it, it's exceeding my expectations. And one of the really neat things about this is when I'm through playing with it, I take the motor off the top, open the box, put it inside, and, and it's all put away. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Real happy with the results of this project and uh, hope you enjoyed watching.